In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dock your catalog. When you open your demo, you'll get this small window. New project, open project, new from template, last opened. Because you're running a demo, you want to start with a new project. Then you'll get project properties. You can fill out all these uh, tabs based on what you do, order number, customer, designer, comments, and the program will pick up the date on your computer. So make sure your computer is updated. Then you click OK. You will then get room properties. And this is where you can uh, resize the room. This is just a virtual room and you can see the grid. Uh, I'm going to resize it to 150, 100, and I'll get the height to 96. Then click OK. As you can see, it has resized. So when you get here, you'll be wondering what's next or what's next now. Um, you want to go to Tools and then click on Catalog. That's the main thing. And you'll get this little window and you will have no idea what to do with it. Hold down your left click right here and then start dragging it. As soon as you start doing that, you can notice in the middle of your screen, there's this down, left, top, right. So you can dock your catalog anywhere. This is the default, so we're gonna just point it there and then release. And there it is. Uh, once you have your catalog, you can actually start uh, doing your design work but sometimes you may need more tools for example if you're a cabinet maker you probably need a tool called structure all the tools are located in the structure menu so I'm gonna pick structure and this time around we're not gonna do the same we're just gonna grab it like that and we are going to release the mouse right here and you will notice now you have catalog and structure. If you're wondering what structure is used for, uh, if you open, uh, let me bring in just any cabinet. Now, structure will tell you, will show you all the components of the cabinet. For example, this is a wall cabinet. If I want to know how this cabinet was built, you'll see it's called W930. That is just a way. Uh, most cabinet makers name their cabinets. This simply means it's a wall cabinet, nine inches wide and 30 inches uh, in height. And if you click on this plus sign to collapse it, you'll see all the components. This is the box. You can rotate and look at it. And this is the face frame. You can look at it. And this is the door. So it actually tells you what's going on here. Now, this, not everybody will use structure. For example, if you're a kitchen dealer, you really don't have to care how the cabinet was made because you, you, you're selling ready-made. There are a lot more tools that you can dock the same way I did with the structure. So say if rendering is your, uh, one of your most important thing, if you're a designer, then you, you're gonna bring in uh, maybe lights. Okay, so when you click on lights, it's in the middle, same thing. Drag it and drop it right there. Release the mouse and now we do have catalog, structure, lights. So you can continue doing that. Uh, if you like, you can have as many tools as you want, depending what you do or your industry. So let me just keep doing the same. Maybe I need dimensions. Same thing. I need maybe uh, text. Now you notice it just keep growing. Now I have different tabs. Catalog, structure. And that's how you set it up for the first time. The good thing about this is Pro 100 will remember how you did your setup. So next time you open uh, Pro 100, it will come exactly how you set it up first time. You don't have to do this over again. Thank you for watching.